Well, it is so good to see you. You look amazing. Thanks for joining me and congratulations. I understand you have just won a big honor. <laughs> yes, yes, Anne-Marie, not me by myself, but I will say myself, Joshua Thompson, the whole team at Classical Music Indy, we have been honored to win the Black Podcasting Awards Best New Black Music Podcast of 2020. Yes, we're excited. Well, congratulations. Tell me, did this come up during the pandemic? How, how did this develop? What is it? Where can we find it? Well, um, we had been doing, we did the podcast the first season before the pandemic. Um, and it was, you know, in the can and they were showing different things. But the podcasting awards, I'm not sure when it, this was the first annual, I will say that. Um, and they selected us. So yeah, I guess it did kind of come up during the pandemic. <laughs> what, what can we see in this podcast? What's it about? Well, the podcast is about all things Black classical in music. That could be composers, it could be singers, uh, it could be uh, librettists, it could be the subject matter. It's just all things Black pertaining to classical music. And where can we find it? You can find it on all of your um, regular podcasting uh, locations. So wherever you consume podcast media, you can find Melanated Moments. <laughs> are you gonna? Are you gonna do more? Yes, we have a season two. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. We have been set for season two, so I'm setting up my house to get everything podcast ready because uh, we won't be coming together to do that. Mm, we still in the pandemic, but we're excited and we're working out the kinks, but we'll see what happens. Well, you know, the pandemic has been really tough on performers. How, how have you been navigating the last six, seven months? Well, you know, like a lot of people sitting around eating too much, feeling sorry for yourself and moping, then it's like the light came on about all oh, three months into that stuff. I was like, you know what? Christmas is coming and <laughs> I can't have pandemic weight and Christmas weight. So, <laughs> so I've started to eat better. I've started to exercise and I'm starting to sing a bit again. So I had the opportunity to uh, work with Indianapolis Opera and Opera in the Park. And the show that I do for my foundation, Morning Brown, that brings culture to cultural deserts, opera from a sister's point of view, okay, you gotta <laughs> lean back on it, had its uh, debut as far as uh, being able to bring other young singers on its platform to shine a light on them. And we did that in Cincinnati uh, last weekend. Uh, along with op uh, yeah, Opera Birmingham. And it was a lot of fun. And it's going to be up virtually at a time that we'll let you know all about. And I've been doing a little crafting in my downtime. Really? Masks, girl. <laughs> uh -huh. I have three lines. Yes, shameless plug. We have <laughs> Afrocentric. We have classic that looks Afrocentric, but don't get scared. I have some classic <laughs> things. And this. Ooh. We have glam, and I do also decorative neck pieces and stuff. So my mother gave me a gift, and I gotta use it. Well, you know, I I love your upbeat, you know, disposition in a time where where so many people really are struggling, and also we're having these very difficult conversations in our community about social justice. You are a global leader. Tell me, what what is your viewpoint on what's happening now? What do you hope is the outcome? Well, Anne-Marie, you know, America is America. And um, I'm, I'm hoping that we will find peace and I find our way to, to come together. But if not, God's got us all in his hands. And it's going to work out for our good in the long run. But we just have to continue to be steadfast and do what we know as a human race, what is right, what is good. And 
we are our brother's keepers if we want to be or not. So we just have to pick up the mantle, persevere, and keep it moving, you know? So. Well, and you do travel all around the world performing. Are there any lessons that you see in other places that you think that we could benefit from as it relates to race? Well, is there, Anne-Marie, I don't know if I can answer that question succinctly, you know? Um, all I know is that I see color and I see it beautifully. And if we all were the same, we would be boring. So we need to be more inclusive. We need to be more uh, accepting of one another. And regardless of where I am, we need to come together and, and um, support one another. So around the world, I guess you have the issues. I don't go looking for it. Let's put it that way. I navigate the world as a citizen of the world and that I belong there. And I respect others and I respect their cultures and I expect the same in return. Yes. You don't always get it, but you can at least have that noble idea. Right. So. Well, thank you for your time and thank you for sharing your talents with us and congratulations on your award. We do continue to wish you continued success. Thank you so much, Anne-Marie. Thank you. Yeah.